Hey guys, it's your boy Codexel here. I'm going to be showing you how to change your IP. Uh, for this example, we're on Xfinity, aka Comcast, but it doesn't necessarily restrict it to just the Xfinity and Comcast services. Um, if you have CenturyLink, if you have Frontier, Roadrunner, um, Cox Communication. It doesn't matter who your ISP is, your internet service provider, just as long as you're able to access the modem. Um, so in this case, I accessed the modem, and yes, I did take a screenshot because I don't want my information to be displayed, uh, such as my uh, Wi-Fi and the password. But the first thing is when you log into your modem uh, for Comcast users, it's the uh, 10.0.0.0 oh, 10 10.0.0.1. That's the IP address that you, you access the modem with. And if for some odd reason you're unable to find out how to access your modem, but you are connected to it, um, open up command prompt, type in IP config, and you're going to look for the, uh, if you're on a hard wire, such as what I'm on, it's going to be uh, for your default gateway, 192.168.1.1. Now, if we move over to your wireless, if you're on Wi-Fi, you'll see the same thing for the gateway, uh, 192.168.1.1. But, however, um, yours will show a little bit different, and that's completely fine, as long as you're able to get the gateway IP address. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is close that out of that, but um, I changed my IP address for the Comcast, just because, and how it showed the um, 192.168. .1 is that's where um, you're going to be needing your router. So, um, it doesn't matter if you have a, a D-Link, a Netgear, a Linksys. Uh, if you modify the firmware, such as what I did, the DDWRT, I'm going to be showing you how to um, work with those since those are the major ones that's on the market, and mainly people have those. Uh, but once you're in your modem first, your gateway uh, or surfboard, whatever you want to call it, you're going to look for bridge mode. That's the important thing, bridge mode. And you want to click on enable. And what that's going to do is going to route the traffic. Uh, so all the settings that this modem have, it will no longer have those master settings. Because when bridge mode is enabled, it's going to go to the... Um, the network that is connected to it, such as your Linksys, Netgear, it doesn't really matter. It just goes uh, to that router. So, the first thing is we're going to do the DDWRT. Uh, next, we're going to do D-Link, Netgear, and Linksys. So, I'm just covering the most important bases. Um, what we're going to do with the DDWRT is uh, go to setup, log in, um, you're going to see the MAC address clone, then you're going to enable it. Uh, so you'll see um, clone WAN MAC. So it'll show this information in these series. So the clone WAN MAC, uh, the MAC address, you'll see it as F8E903C whatever. Um, that is a unique number and what you're going to do is you're going to change it on your end. So how you see it as F8, you can just change that to F9. Um, right here, I just enlarged the font so you guys can see it. And however you see it on your router, um, you can just copy and paste it in here and change it on here. But you don't have to change that much. Uh, you can change the first block. So F8. Here, let me actually zoom in on this. F8. It can be F5, and that's all you need to do is uh, apply and save settings. Um, but the thing is, you can never go back to this um, if you want to change your IP address again. But um, just a simple, small modifications. Oh. Okay, so it's uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, okay. So it has to be in even numbers. That's the first. Before, let me change everything else. 
Ah, okay, it's just the first part. It has to be an even number. Okay. Uh, and just uh, with the rest of it, you can actually just uh, keep it or make a small little change. Uh, so 5D, how about 7D? That, that's really it. Um, but yeah, click apply, um, then reboot your router and your modem. First, just unplug your router after the settings has been changed. Then with the modem, unplug that, plug it back in, power cycle it. Then once that's back up and online, un uh, plug in your router next. That's the, that's the thing that you want to do in that um, order. So, we got that taken care of. Now, as for the D-Link, fairly simple. Um, go to the modem GUI. It's going to be set up. You'll see manual configure and your MAC address, you know, change the settings from it just to something a little bit different. Save, apply, reboot. That's it. As for the Netgear, same thing. Um, you're going to go to your basic settings, that's what it'll be at. Then it'll be use this MAC address. Same concept, just change that. Apply, reboot. And guess what? For Linksys, enable. So it's going to be under your setup, then it'll be under the MAC address clone. Then change, save settings, reboot. That is it, my friends. It's that simple just to change your IP. So the reason if you want to change your IP, if you get banned from a website, or if something's not going right, um, such, well, it's just mainly if you're just banned from a website, that's where people want to change their IP, or if they're getting hit offline. But that's it. That's all you guys need to do. So if you guys ever have any problems or any questions, drop a comment down below. But on the mean, on the other note, visit my website it doesn't hurt to register it doesn't hurt to post a comment it just just do it but um if you guys like the video drop a thumbs up subscribe to me so i can get that support i'll support you guys with more videos and i'll try to uh, cover it down on all the bases if you guys have any questions for me uh don't hesitate to drop a question i'll answer back and other than that, you guys stay awesome.